Hello, I'm Paul Weston, and we are currently locked down because at the beginning of November, uh, Witty and Valens told us that Liverpool and Manchester were going to have approximately 10 gazillion deaths within nanoseconds if we continued going to the pub for a drink with Aunt Edna in Kingston-upon-Thames, and that the only way out of this was to bring in the army and mass test the plucky survivors of Liverpool uh, to within an inch of their lives. Now the PCR test was too complicated for mass testing so a new test has been introduced for use in Liverpool uh, called the lateral flow test uh, which with the help of army logistics can process a result on site within an hour which is unlike the PCR tests uh, which need a skilled laboratory technician to repeatedly uh, magnify the test over a six hour period until they eventually find some incriminating speck of historical evidence uh, suggestive of a deadly plague stalking the land. Now lateral flow test mass testing was the uh, heavily publicised first phase of Operation Moonshot that uh, Boris Johnson wants to spend a hundred million pounds of taxpayers money on uh, by repeatedly testing all the healthy people uh, in the country. So the start-up in Liverpool uh, was announced in a media frenzy in early November, if you remember, uh, but then went really quiet as the media seemed to lose uh, all interest in moonshot Liverpool for some inexplicable reason. Uh, but tucked away on the BBC website was this little gem of an article from a couple of days ago uh, titled COVID uh, Mass Testing in Liverpool Sees Remarkable Decline in Cases. Uh, which included some wonderfully perceptive words of wisdom from our unlikely health secretary, uh, Matthew Hancock, who said, uh, quote, the combination of the mass testing and the measures in Liverpool have brought the cases down really quite remarkably, much faster than I would have thought was possible, uh, end quote. Now, if our eager young health secretary had put his thinking cap on the, uh, the right way around, it might have occurred to him that a virus which disappears faster than he thought possible uh, might be due to something other uh, than an apparent miracle courtesy of the measures of a Jesus-like uh, health secretary and that this something other uh, is simply called the lateral uh, flow test uh, which is far more accurate than the PCR test uh, when it comes to correctly identifying positive COVID infections. And according to the BBC, close to 100,000 lateral flow tests have now been conducted in Liverpool, uh, out of which 842 Scousers, who exhibited no symptoms <laughs> whatsoever, uh, tested positive, which isn't really very many at all, and f actually falls within the false positive error rate. But what is interesting is that PCR testing was also carried out, 55,000 tests identified 1,700 people. Now, anyone who can do the maths will quickly work out that the lateral flow tests uh, show a 0.8% infection rate and the PCR test a 3% infection rate. And if you're really good at maths, you'll also realise that people like uh, Dr Mike Yeadon may very well be correct in their claim that the PCR test is completely useless because 80% of the positive test results are actually false positives. So hence the media silence about Liverpool, which is criminal, considering our government is inflicting devastating damage upon the people of this country based only on their claim that PCR tests are reliable and therefore a great plague continues to stalk the land. Now, when you stop to think about this, it makes no sense. How can two tests be carried out at the same time, in the same area, and produce such a huge disparity of results and not become a massive talking point uh, amongst politicians and the media? You know, surely, given the destruction of our country, uh, this should be a matter of supreme importance to responsible, competent politicians, scientists and journalists. Well, it clearly isn't important at all. So. What are we supposed to think? You know, if the government insists on continuing their dictatorial rule in the face of new evidence suggesting the COVID threat isn't actually much of a threat at all, then we have to think aloud about why 
they behave in such a perverse manner? You know, is it to do with vaccines and the gates of heaven? Is it to do with a, a green new world order dictatorship based on the Great Reset, uh, which is now unashamedly out in the open and promoted by the likes of Boris Johnson with his build back, <coughs> build back better mantra, which has been sourced directly from the World Economic Forum. Now, both of these scenarios make all the logical sense in the world. Unlike the inexplicable nonsense currently being ignored in Liverpool, so perhaps the media might have just one remaining investigative journalist who can look into the curious results going on in Liverpool and having done his or her homework can then present the public with concrete evidence that there really is a serious public health issue at large. And this is important because if they cannot honestly present us with real evidence of a great plague stalking the land, then we're left with a pretty unpleasant realisation uh, that our current clutch of politicians are evil psychopaths uh, interested only in dirty money and corrupt absolute power and who are quite prepared to manufacture false or exaggerated COVID data uh, in order to shut us down in the full knowledge that this will result in all sorts of inevitable horrors like higher numbers of suicides and bankruptcies and loneliness and misery and not to mention the criminal consequences of politically acceptable collateral damage deaths uh, amongst untreated cancer, heart and stroke patients. And we'll soon know just what sort of people our politicians are because if they discontinue Operation Moonshot and lateral flow tests because the results don't fit their agenda, then we will know that this is not about public health at all and it is everything to do with what uh, politicians and journalists dismiss as conspiracy theories. But as someone recently said, it really isn't a conspiracy theory when they're carrying it out in full view of your lying eyes. YouTube are heavily monitoring this channel at the moment, so if you haven't subscribed, please do, and please hit the notification bell. And if you have already subscribed, please check that you still are subscribed, because an awful lot of subscribers seem to be disappearing these days, which I'm sure has nothing whatsoever to do with the people that run YouTube. But, uh, but do check, please, and uh, if you are um, taken off, get yourself back on again. Thank you very much.